Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple password protected door lock using Computercraft. To start, go into your computer and type edit startup. Everything you enter into this program will run automatically when you reboot your computer. Then we want to print the text password on the top of the screen. Remember, everything typed into your programs are case sensitive. When we enter our password into our computer, we don't want people to see what we are typing. This line of code will make only a star appear for every character you enter. Next, we will start an if-then statement. If the input equals 1, 2, 3, then else and end to finish this statement. If the input equals 1, 2, 3, then we will clear the terminal, we will set the cursor position back to 1, 1, we will print on screen welcome. Then we will apply a redstone current to the back of the computer. We will send a sleep command, which will pause the program for three seconds. We will turn off the redstone current to the back of the computer and reboot the computer. If the password entered is not 123, then we will clear the terminal screen, set the cursor position back to 1, 1, and print, sorry, please try again. We will pause the program for two seconds so that you can read the text displayed on screen and finally reboot the computer to start at the beginning again. Now that the coding is done, go ahead and reboot the computer. Before we enter the password, I would like to show you that these two doors are connected via redstone in the back of the doors. The redstone goes completely behind the computer and above the two doors so that when we enter our password of 123, both of the doors will open. If you do not enter a password that is 123, it will say sorry, please try again, and automatically reboot the program to start from the beginning. Now the problem with this is, when you go into your computer, and you hold down Control T, anyone can terminate your program, edit startup, and see the password that was set by the programmer. If you are interested in finding out how to disable the terminate command, click on this video. A link to part 2 will also be in the video description. If anyone has any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, if this was helpful, please smash the like button. Thanks.